Native deodorant has so many different scents, it can be really overwhelming. So I am on the mission to find the best native scent. So it's actually really fun. Native comes out with new collections all the time. So pretty much every season, they come out with more scents to try. They are typically limited edition, but usually they're pretty good. So I love trying them out. I also saw that Native came out with a bunch of new scents in their permanent line, which I was so, so excited about because when scents are in their permanent line and I fall in love with one of them, I don't have to worry as much that it will just go away and I won't be able to buy it anymore. So I got a bunch of new scents to try, including their new fall collection and also some of their new permanent scents also. So let's start with their fall collection because I wanna make sure you have a chance to grab these scents if you are interested because I don't know how long these scents will be available, but they're definitely still available now. And because Target carries Native now, you can smell these scents in store before you buy them, which I love. I actually decided to try this collection after smelling all the scents and every single one of them smelled really good in store. So I was excited to actually try them. By the way, before I even get started, all of these worked really consistently on me, which I was super excited about. If you saw my previous Native video, you would know that some of the scents were really hit or miss for me. All of these were not only effective, but also did not cause irritation. I know Native has a sensitive line for all of these scents, but all of these scents are just the regular ones with baking soda and I had no issues. So let's start with the first one. The first one is vanilla and cactus flower. Oh, it smells so good. Out of the fall collection, this one I would say is the most feminine. It is sweet and floral, super fresh. They have a cactus flower scent at Bath & Body Works that this really reminds me of. It smells very similar. So if you did smell that cactus flower, this is what this smells like, like a desert flower. It has that floral element, but it's not overly floral or too much, if that makes sense. And the vanilla adds that sweet creaminess to that scent. This one's a really good one. Next up, we have sage and sweet citrus. So this one I was a little nervous about because I actually didn't think I would like the smell of sage. I feel like sage can smell really herbally, which is not my vibe at all. But I smelled this one in store and I was like, oh wow, I like this a lot. So this one reminds me a lot of cereal milk, like Fruit Loops cereal milk. I think it has a little bit of that citrus in there. You know how Fruit Loops kind of smells a little lemony? It has that element, but it's sweet too. I would say this one definitely wears really well too. And it's not herbally at all. I think the sage kind of adds just a little bit of that freshness, that little complexity to the citrus, which is really, really nice. I feel like Nate just they're so good at nailing the scents. All right, next up, we have desert grass and sandalwood. Another one I wasn't sure about because sometimes sandalwood smells really good. Sometimes it can smell a little musky and I'm not a fan of like the super musky scents, but this one, this one smells very good. This one out of the four is the strongest. I would smell it throughout the day. I'd get whiffs of it and it smelled so good. So this one reminds me of a body wash, like a classic body wash. It's fresh. It does have that sweetness. It has a little bit of earthiness, but like in a super sweet way, if that makes sense. It's not like grassy, <laughs> like fresh cut grass, but like almost the sweetness of fresh cut grass, if that makes sense. Y'all want to give this one a smell because I don't know if I'm nailing the description, but it just smells like a really beautifully scented body wash. Last but not least, we have honey and cigarro. So this one I would say is the lightest scented one. Oh yeah, it just smells so good. Like these scents, they smell like perfumes to me. They are just so well balanced. It smells sweet like honey, like that honey smell, but like a high end sweet honey smell. It's definitely fresh and a little caramely. I think that's still the honey though. Definitely a good one as well. So before jumping into the new permanent scents that I'm trying out, I have to say it's actually really, really difficult for me to decide which one is my favorite out of the fall collection. I feel like they're all kind of in the same realm. I was using them interchangeably over the last few weeks and and I feel like I had a very consistent, overall, very positive experience with all four. And I know that's not super helpful, but hopefully my descriptions kind of helped, but I feel like you really can't go wrong. Usually I have like a super winner and like one that is kind of a flop for me. And these ones, I feel like I'm super glad I tried them, but I'm also not gonna be heartbroken when they're gone too. I wouldn't say they're in my top two of like those two favorite seasonal scents that you know I love that they no longer carry. If you are curious which the scents those are, look at my previous native videos, but I had two scents that I feel like were just 10 out of 10. I couldn't stop smelling them. I love them so much. None of these ones were that good, but they were all, I would give these all an eight, an eight to nine. So when I first saw that Native was coming out with more permanent scents, I got so excited because in the email, I saw my all time favorite scent in the picture and they did bring it back, but they only brought it back in the body wash. So you know I had to pick it up. This is the Coastal Oak and Amber. That one is by far my favorite scent that Native has ever come out with. I even sent them an 
email to let them know. I was like, this one is my favorite. <laughs> can you bring it back? And they're like, thank you for your feedback. We will take note. Well, maybe that contributed to them bringing it back in a body wash. Yeah, this scent is just so crazy good. It's so fresh. It's just perfect. So of course I picked it up in the body wash. I do prefer it in the deodorant because I feel like body washes, I usually don't spend a lot of money on them because the scent doesn't linger on my skin for that long. Like it's a nice experience in the shower, but I'm not like smelling it throughout the day. I would really prefer the scent to come out in their body spray slash spray deodorants. That would be awesome. But for now, I will take what I can get. And if you are curious about what this smells like, they do carry it at Target too. So give it a whiff and let me know what you think. So I got four of their new permanent scents. They came out with so many more and I actually just checked the site because I've been trying these for the last few weeks. There are even more scents on there. Not my Coastal Oak and Amber, but still, there are just so many more scents to choose from. And I'm very happy about that because I didn't really fall in love with any of their original permanent scents. Okay, let's start with the two that I was most excited to try. And these are scents I've never seen native cover before. The first one is Black Oak and Amber. The second one is Honey and White Oak. They both have that oak element. So I was super hopeful. I will have to say I was very disappointed. So both of these work really well and they do smell really good, but I would say both of these smell like men's deodorant, like a very fresh men's deodorant. Oh yeah, especially this one. This one is the honey and white oak. This one smells exactly like Old Spice to me. And I know because I used to wear Old Spice in college because I was convinced that men's deodorant worked better. Like it smells fine, it smells fresh. It smells like a sexy man coming out of the shower. Now I don't mind smelling like a sexy man coming out of the shower. It's not a bad smell, but it's not my preferred smell. I'm very much like leaning towards like the feminine sweet smells for myself. Black Oak and Amber is similar. I would say this one is a little more unisex. It's a very, very fresh smell. I feel like I could see how it's in the same family as Coastal Oak and Amber, but it's not the same. It doesn't compare. I wouldn't even say this one is one of my top. Like this one is just fine. I'm not sure why they made this one a permanent one, but not the Coastal Oak and Amber, but it's okay. I'll let it go. But this one won't be a repurchase for me like I was hoping. All right, the next two scents I decided to pick up. One is Sweet Peach and Nectar, and the other is Jasmine and Cedar. Now I was very excited to try these two because one is more floral and one is more fruity. Love fruity, love floral. I usually lean either one of those two directions. I'm not super into like the sugary, sugary sweet ones like buttercream and cupcakes and all that. So let's start with Sweet Peach and Nectar. This one, yeah, this one smells so good. If you like the smell of peaches, this one is for you. It is not artificial. It is fresh. It is so fruity, so juicy. It kind of reminds me of like a middle school body splash in like the best possible way. It is so good. The scent lingers. It is sweet. It just smells really, really good. So this one, I would definitely consider repurchasing because this one, when I like am just in a fruity mood, this is my go-to. Like this one feels lighter than the other ones because I think this is the one I reach for the most out of the new ones I tried. So definitely hope they keep this one around because I feel like this one adds an element that they don't really have in their original collection because it's so fruity and juicy. All right, last but not least, the scent that I tried was Jasmine and Cedar. And this one was really nice as well. I would just say this one's just a really good Jasmine scent. I'm not getting a lot of cedar, which is fine with me. I feel like cedar can kind of pull like more manly sometimes. It's just really, it's just Jasmine. If you're a fan of Jasmine, they hit the nail right on the head with this one, but it's pretty straightforward. It's just a floral Jasmine scent. I just tipped them all over like dominoes. <laughs> oh well, I'll pick that up later. So that concludes my hunt for the best native deodorant scent. I think I'm still on the hunt. I don't think I found it yet. Until I find a permanent scent that tops my Coastal Oak and Amber, I will keep looking. Now I'm the first one to admit that I'm surprised that I'm still using native deodorants. When I tried it a few years ago, I did not think it was going to work. But really, these scents do work. I smell fresh throughout the day. The only time I will use a non-natural deodorant now is when I'm in a stressful situation. Like when I'm giving a presentation or I know I'm just going to be in a high stress social situation. Native will not block out the stress sweat, but working out day to day, long hours, Native really holds up and they nailed their scents every time. They smell seriously so good. So if you try Native for yourself, definitely let me know how you like it and what your favorite scent is, especially if it's not in this video so I can add it to my scents next time. They just came back with their holiday scents and I've actually never tried their holiday scents. So please let me know if you'd be interested in a full review of all of their holiday scents because they come out with the same every year, which is pretty cool because if you like them, you can depend on it coming back. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like this video before you leave and I'll see you next time. Bye.